What's up, Much Music and YouTube? My name is Nadine Sakura, and this is your quick news fix. Directed by Roland Emmerich from Independence Day and The Day After Tomorrow, 2012 is the story of the global cataclysm end of the world based on the Mayan long count calendar. There's been a lot of hype over the 2012 new uh, disaster movie coming out this week. How well do you think it's going to do in the box office? I think it's going to do really well in the box office. It's got a ridiculous amount of hype and um, it's got really good special effects so people are going to go see it. It has John Cusack and Woody Harrelson as well so those guys can do no wrong. And are you going to see the movie when it comes out? I think I probably will, yes. Yeah, it's worth going to theaters to see a movie like that. Well, most likely, yeah. It looks like it'll be definitely something that everyone will be talking about and then people will be trying to relate it to like when it actually is 2012 possibilities of what could happen. 2012 hits theaters November 13th. It's a big month for former American Idol runner-up Adam Lambert. His debut album, For Your Entertainment, drops November 23rd and will also be seen on the 2012 soundtrack. Well, if the world's not coming to an end, it's um, being attacked by aliens, right? V is the new ABC sci-fi series about aliens called Visitors that arrive on Earth to promote the message of peace and hope but actually have very alternative motives. So Vancouver seems to be home to a lot of sci-fi productions such as X-Files, Fringe, Stargate, and of course V. What do you think makes Vancouver so appealing to the supernatural? Most of that work that you're talking about is done indoors. It's all studio work. We also have amazing production designers, fantastic art departments, costumes. We've got everything here it takes to make sci-fi. This remake of the 1983 TV show has already gotten off to a strong start when over 13 million people turn into its premiere on Tuesday. So what was your favorite part of the old series? Uh, my favorite part was probably when the aliens used to climb out of their human form and uh, you never quite knew which ones were aliens and which ones were the humans. Thanks so much for tuning in. This has been your quick news fix with me, Nadine Sakura from Much Music. I'm just kidding. But here's hoping.